Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to remix in Midjourney. Remixing is a very powerful tool. It allows you to change just a few parts in your image rather than remixing or re-rolling an image entirely. So for this tutorial I'm gonna try and make a portrait of Mai Shiranoi from King of Fighters and Fatal Fury. So I'm going to write a prompt like portrait of Mai Shiranoi and I'm going to say anime style to get a specific rendering and let's make it a little bit more interesting and put her in front of the fountain. So the prompt is portrait of Mai Shiranoi in front of a fountain, comma, anime style and then I'm going to give it some rim light and then uh, dash dash AR for aspect ratio space 2 by 3 which is a portrait aspect ratio and here's the result. Well, it looks pretty cool, but not exactly what I imagined. If you know Mai Shiranoi from Fatal Fury or King of Fighters, you know she looks a bit different, especially her facial features. Otherwise, it looks pretty close, close enough. Um, the first one definitely also have different clothing. I wanted to have uh, red clothes, a red dress, and it's just not quite there yet. Also, I think the style, especially the fourth one, is too different. The, the second one also, it looks more like a painting and that's not what I wanted at all. So let's try and do something different. If you haven't used the remix mode yet, you want to type in settings. By default, the remix mode is switched off. Mine is switched on here, but yours will be off if you've never used it. So click on remix mode to switch it on. And then you can click the V1 through V4 buttons in order to remix and change some part of the image. I think the first one here is not too bad, so I'm gonna try and remix the first one. Uh, I would like to change the dress to a red color. So I'm gonna click on V1 and it will open the prompt window again in order to remix it. So right now we can just change some of the words in order to change things. And I'm going to say portrait of Mai Shiranoi with all red outfit. And the style is also not exactly what I wanted. So I'm going to add one more prompt, which is manga. I'm mixing anime style and manga prompts and that will yield a slightly different result. So I'm going to click submit. Okay, let's have a look at the results. Right, not too bad. So by simply remixing and changing something in the prompt chain, you can make changes without re-rolling and changing the entire image. For example, the composition of the image is the same, the pose of my is the same, and generally speaking it's the same. So remixing is a great thing if you already like the composition of your image, but you just want to change a few aspects of it. Um, the color of her dress is more red now, but still not entirely red, but that's okay. I think I like the third one the best so far. The fourth one is quite different from the other ones, and honestly speaking, her face still doesn't look very much like Mai. Um, the other ones don't either, honestly speaking, but they're much closer than the first iteration. So the additional manga prompt definitely helped with the style. But I'm still not quite satisfied yet, so I'm going to remix version 3. Let's see what we can do here. How about Portrait of Mai Shiranoi with green eyes, because her eyes have turned red as well now. That's a thing that can happen when you're prompting colors, and that it will choose one and tint everything in that color. I also want to see if I can change her uh, her hairband, her the loop or whatever she has in her hair there. So I'm gonna say green um, green hair loop or how about green hair band. And let's click submit and see what we can get this time. And I want to remix the same image once more, but change the style a little bit and see what else I can get. So I'm gonna click V3 again to remix. And I want to delete manga and anime style for now and use a special technical prompt, which is dash dash 
Nichi. That's N-I-J-I. So in many cases, when you want to do anime style, using Nichi is a much better option and will yield much better results. So this remix is only changing the style, otherwise it's gonna be exactly the same as our original prompt, which is portrait of My Shiranoi with all red outfit in front of a fountain and comma rim light. I'm gonna keep the aspect ratio of 2 by 3 and add Nichi instead, deleting the prompts for anime style and manga. Okay, let's see what we've got here. So the first thing I notice, um, yes, we did get our green hairband. Well, at least in some of the images. The first one has a green hairband now. The second one has like a green beret or a little green hat. The third and fourth ones have green hair. Well, that's not really what we wanted at all, so I'm not gonna use them. We're also getting a free nipple render in the first one here, which is something really unexpected out of Mid Journey, especially um, given that they're censoring everything and they're censoring to an extent where you can't even use normal words sometimes. It's really weird. And we also didn't get any green eyes, but we can change and edit that in Photoshop later on. In the meantime, our Nietzsche remix is done as well. Let's have a look. Oh wow, okay. You can see right away that's quite a different rendering, a different style from the earlier ones where we used anime style and manga. So Nietzsche really gave us quite nice anime style characters. They look quite different and stylized and they look much closer to what I would have imagined to get in the first place. One thing that stands out, they all look kind of grumpy and angry, so that's not something that I, I like and we will change that with remixing again. The fourth one, don't even ask me, I have no idea what happened there, but this is something that can happen during remixing and generally speaking, the more you remix and the more you make remixes of remixes, the more likely that you will get some scrambled image like that. Just keep that in mind that sometimes it's better to re-roll an earlier image than remixing it. Something else that stands out is the clothing, which is much better than the first iteration. Uh, I think I like the second one, so let's remix the second one by clicking V2. And let's just make her a little bit more happy looking rather than grumpy my Let's say portrait of a happy Mai Shiranui. And that's all it really takes. So let's click the submit button. I will also go back and upscale some of the previous images because even with all the iterating in the world and remixing, uh, sometimes you just can't get what you exactly wanted and then you can cut out things from one image and put it on another end and retouch, composite and get the results that you want that way. In the meantime, the remix of our grumpy My Shiranoi is done as well, so let's have a look. Wow, that's a night and day difference. Look at this. So a little bit of remixing can go a very long way. I especially like the first one, she looks quite cute, and the second one is really good as well. Uh, let's have a look of what this looked like previously. Wow three very grumpy mice and one ghost mice or something. And yeah, that made a huge difference. So I'm going to upscale uh, images one and two because I think they're quite good. In the meantime, some previous upscales are done as well. Let's have a look. Yes, this looks quite good. And as I thought, yes, she has red eyes, but this will be easy enough to retouch in Photoshop or some other editing software. Now, on upscaled images you can remix as well, and you do this by clicking the Make Variations button. So let's do this. And now we can just remix anything we like. Um, what shall we do here? How about Portrait of My Shiranoi with brown eyes? Let's see if this works out. If not, we're gonna retouch it in Photoshop. And let's say wearing a red outfit. And how about a change of scenery? Given this is quite a big change, it might not work, but let's try and put her in a park. OK, 
Okay, so it's portrait of Mai Shirinoi with brown eyes, wearing a red outfit, in front of a park. Anime style manga Rim Light. Okay, uh, mind you, this is a remix of a earlier image where we were still using anime style in manga, not the Nichi one. I'm also going to give uh, brown a double colon and a two, which is giving it a higher weight. You can add a double colon followed by a number to any word to give it a higher weight and a higher importance. But I will make a separate tutorial for that later on. Now let's have a look at the upscaled Nietzsche renders. Wow, this looks really great. Um, I really like it. The clothes are very nice with a lot of detail. There are some little medals on her chest or whatever that is. I noticed there's some water that is coming out uh, behind her, her hair. Um, that's coming out of the fountain, but it is overlapping her hair. So that is something I would retouch in Photoshop and draw her hair over the water and then probably also uh, blur that water a little bit to put in a background because it's kind of distracting. But otherwise, this image is really good. I quite like it. Let's have a look at the other upscaled Nietzsche image. And this looks absolutely fantastic. I think I like it even better. Uh, you can see the water that comes out of fountain in the background is a bit different. The rendering, the colors, everything looks a bit different. Uh, overall, this character looks a bit more dynamic and has more character, I think. Uh, the clothing is quite detailed and intricate. That's quite nice as well. I like the little or ornaments on her chest there. Uh, the eyes look good, by the way. They are brown. So uh, the prompt remixing worked there as well. That's great. And overall, I think this might be the best image. The only thing that disturbs a bit is the mangled hand down there. Um, it's something you could either simply crop out or uh, try and retouch in Photoshop. Now in remixing you can do a lot of things and it's very powerful. The only thing you have to keep in mind is that if you keep remixing off of the same image again and again, you may end up with some really weird results. And sometimes it is really just better, you know, and proof in point here is this uh, fourth image, you know, which got all mangled up. So sometimes it's just better to copy and paste your previous prompt and reiterate, uh, edit your prompt a bit more and start from the beginning. What works really well with remixing is change little things like her sad face to a happy face or grumpy face to a happy face, uh, change the eye color, change little and small parts in the image. That's something that you can very easily achieve with remixing. If you want to change some uh, bigger content in the image like the background, we try to change the background into a park. Uh, as you can see here, that did not work out at all. So in this case, I would suggest that you choose the image that you like best from the previous renders, cut out the character and then render a park separately without people in it and composite it in photo editing software. That will yield a much better result and you can use the previous character that you already worked so hard on and that you like. So again, to recap, uh, remixing allows you to change details in your image don't try to remake big parts in your image because that will most often result in failure as we've seen before. So with this new remixing technique you can get much closer to the original results that you wanted without having to re-roll and hope for the best on your original image. If you have any questions on remixing or suggestions on how you could remix even better, please feel free to share your insights in the comments below. And as always, remember to smash up that subscribe and like button so you get notified of new tutorials and videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.